Overall goals for the 2019 season is to win our conference title, uh, put ourselves in a position in the NCAA for regionals, and uh, ultimately compete at the national level. Um, you know, every season's different. Last year, uh, we learned that uh, culture-wise, we're a very strong team. Uh, we had some good wins and some tough losses, uh, but really the weekend didn't matter in terms of wins or losses every Monday. Team came in ready to go. Leadership was awesome. Attitude was great. Uh, hard work was awesome. Um, that led up into our spring last year too, so we're really excited for, uh, for our fall season. Um, it, it, it's interesting, we, all of them can be leaders. Uh, we have six rookies this year, we also have six sophomores, so 12 underclassmen. Um, that kind of forces our six rising sophomores to become leaders because they have a big class under them. Uh, we also have our group of uh, upperclassmen, including our captains, who have uh, already shown leadership skills um, and are already great leaders. So. Uh, you know, we're expecting everybody to have some leadership um, and, you know, we're definitely expecting our seniors to teach all of our younger players how to be the leaders that they are. Um, we'll find out. Uh, you know, they're all here for a reason and that reason is that they can play and that they can fit in with our culture. So we're excited to see um, what it looks like this preseason. Um, all of them can help us, that's for sure. Uh, that's why they're here. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see and you'll find out as soon as I do. Uh, well, my expectation for those two are to start where they uh, ended last season for sure, um, if not ahead of where they were skill-wise. Um, they had great years on the court, um, great years of uh, leadership. Um, so, you know, as they play at their highest level this year, um, while they do that and while they have success, uh, a big role of theirs is going to be to teach that next generation of uh, student athletes here for the volleyball team to play at their level, lead at their level, um, and compete at their level. Well, you don't replace players. Uh, you get new players. They have their own styles, their own skill sets, um, their own ways to learn. Uh, you know, we do a good job, and Nicole did a great job of, as she progressed as an athlete mentally and physically, um, she did a great job of teaching the younger players on what she learned to try to have them uh, not make the same mistakes she made, but also build upon all the successes that she had. Uh, we have two rising sophomores and an incoming rookie outside hitter, so you know the two rising sophomores learned a lot from Nicole last year. They both got playing time last year, both played very well, um, and I know they're very hungry to get on the court and prove themselves. Well, it's a tough conference, so we try to schedule as hard as we could at a conference. Um, this might be our strongest strength schedule in the last six years. Um, we did that, one, so we'd be prepared for uh, conference play, uh, but also two, because it, I think we have the team that can compete with them. Salisbury Volleyball will be successful in 2019 because of the leadership on this team, uh, that we're ready to be able to handle uh, all the success in any adversity that we have uh, and we'll be able to go out and compete at the highest level every day.